All right, rugby glory friends, welcome back to the kitchen table where all the uh, rugby action is taking place. Uh, so as you can tell from the two cards that are on their sides on the table, a successful tackle has just occurred. And now we're ready for the next phase, uh, which is the ruck. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the game or maybe new to the sport of rugby, rucks can seem confusing. They're actually a very simple structure that allows the attacking team to protect the ball, retain possession of the ball, and continue their attack. To kind of make this a little bit easier, we've simplified this whole process uh, in Rugby Glory of the Game, and we're going to explain that right now. So the tackle was determined by the hustle numbers. The ruck is going to be determined by the power numbers. So as you can see in this tackle that has just occurred, the ball carrier is the uh, player card with the ball token on it. That's the attacking team. Their power number is five, and the tackling player has a power number of four. At this particular moment, nothing else needs to happen. Uh, the ruck is considered set, and the attacking team, since they have a greater power number or a greater power score than the defending team, they can just pass the ball to somebody else and continue playing. If, however, the power number had been... Uh, higher on the defending side. So in this case, it's a six as opposed to a five. Now the attacking team is in danger of losing the ball to a poach or a steal or a jackal uh, are, are terms that are used in rugby. Um, they're in danger of losing the ball. So what they need to do is bring in another player card uh, to help assist in the ruck. Now, if they do that, then the defense is also allowed to bring in a player card to assist on their side of the ruck and continue to um, uh, try to steal the ball. In this particular instance, uh, the, this hook was brought in to help with the ruck. They have a power number of four. The, uh, the tackled ball carrier has a power number of five, so that's a total of nine, which exceeds. Uh, it's greater than the six on the defending side. So if the defender doesn't bring in a rucker, uh, again, this ruck is set and the ball uh, re remains on the attacking side, okay? If, however, the um, defender decided to bring in a rucker as well and they had the ability to do so, this, uh, this player card has a power of five. So you add that power of five to the six that is already on the defending side and you get a total of 11. 11 is greater than the nine. And so this would be a successful steal. The ball would be moved over to the defending side. There would be a turnover. These two cards would go away. These cards would get moved back to their respective sides and play would continue except now the team that was defending will be attacking.